Hey YouTube, this is Amy, and I'm coming to you with part two of my elf haul, like I promised you guys. I'm really, really getting addicted to the elf products. One, they're cheap, good quality, and they keep sending me notifications and newsletters, and every time I see them, I feel the need that I have to purchase them. But I don't, but I really like their products. Uh, the stuff took a while to come. They were... The shipping facilities were in New Jersey and it was affected by Hurricane Sandy. But nonetheless, I got my products and everything was in here like I ordered. I'm really, really excited to show you some of the things I got. And this is not going to be a very long video. And it's going to be a very, very small haul since I'm always coming to you with big hauls. So let's get started. So the first two things are cleansing products that I got. The first one is the brush shampoo. And I purchased this because I really needed to thoroughly clean my brushes. And I used this last night. And I really, you know, it was pretty decent. Um, This is my first time purchasing any brush, shampoo, or cleanser. So I can't really compare it to nothing. But I think it was pretty decent for $3. Can't go wrong with it. Next is the Daily Brush Cleanser that I got. And I think I'm going to use this on the weekends when I'm just trying to get you know clean my brushes up a little bit and they don't really need a thorough cleaning and I'm going to use this when I travel as well this was also three dollars as well next I got some makeup remover cleansing cloths these were thirty dollars I mean <laughs> three dollars and you can't go wrong with these I'm going to buy some more because these go by really really quick and I like this because it has kind of a snap and close top to them and a lot of the other cleansing wipes that I've had before they have that plastic thing and they don't stay down and then they end up drying out so good purchase for three dollars next I got the big blushes I got this in rich rose and I'm just gonna open this if I could get it open for you sorry for the lighting it's really bad sorry for the beeping sound I had some food in the oven <laughs> And I got this in Pink Passion. I would do swatches, but the lighting is really bad, and I'm really sorry for that. But really good. I like how they're very pigmented, and I like how they look on my face, and they give me kind of a bronzy look that I like. Only $3 each. We'll recommend these. I also stepped outside my comfort zone, and I got some lashes. I know I'm, I've had some bad experiences with lashes, but I wanted to give them... Because I tend to, when I look at, you know, a couple tutorials and different videos here on YouTube, lashes add a good, like a pop, like when you add a pop of color or a good lip, it adds something to your makeup. So I wanted to try them on my own. And they were only a dollar, so I picked up a couple just to play with, play around with them. They also came with some adhesive. So I'll let you know how these are once I play with them. But quite a few people always buy them, so I just wanted to check them out. Next, I'm going to show you some brushes that um, I got, and then I'll be done. I got this $1 flat eyeliner brush. It was only a dollar, but I'm not going to use this for eyeliner. I'm going to use this for my cream eyeshadows because I have another brush, brush that is similar to this that I got from the dollar store, and it was really, really good at putting an eyeshadow base and putting on cream eyeshadows. Next, all the brushes I'm going to show you are from the studio line. Now I had already purchased these and I showed you these video these brushes in my last um haul video, but it's the powder brush which I really love and I'm glad I got another one because I'm going to use one for liquid because it really is really good for putting on liquid foundation and for my powder foundation. I really 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 love this brush. And I also have another contour contour brush that I like using for blending and other purposes. And the last uh brush from the studio line is a small precision brush and I'm going to use this for when I get for under my eye and getting in the corners and probably for eyeliner too so that's it like I said very small very short video like again like subscribe comment once again once I hit 50 subscribers I'm going to do a giveaway I'm still debating on what I'm going to give in my giveaway it might be something with clothes, might be something with makeup, and I just want to thank you for watching this video. Look out for my BH Cosmetics. Yeah, y'all, I'm on a roll. I picked up a couple palettes and some other things, 
and that's it but like I said if you have any questions leave them in the comments box make sure you subscribe and make sure you like my video and share it again thank you much love bye